hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute little sunflower keychain so what you'll need is you'll need three kinds of yarn you need one for the pot one for the stem and leaf one for the petals and one for the center okay and then uh you're gonna need a crochet hook uh which is i used uh 1.75 millimeters okay as you can see and also i used um this kind of yarn so it's a hundred percent acrylic and also you can see all the details of over here the specifications and also uh it says it's uh, you should use the small or the thin yarn uh, i don't know it's written somewhere it's the small ball and also uh, if you have any questions you can post them in the comments below okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head and for the head we're going to start first uh, with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then I pull my yarn and put my marker over there. Okay, so now in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so I'll go into the next stitch and increase. Okay, and then you continue also increase in the next stitch okay increase also in the next stitch okay and also you continue increasing in also the other three remaining stitches Okay, so now in our third row, uh, we're going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around six times for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so I'll go into the next stitch and do single crochet and then I'll increase in the next stitch. And then I'll continue the same pattern so single crochet and increase in the next stitch okay single crochet then increase okay so you continue like that all the way round okay so now in our fourth row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat six times for a total of 24 stitches okay so we'll do two single crochet and then increase in the next stitch okay and then repeat that so two single crochet and increase in the next stitch Okay, and you continue repeating that so two single crochet and increase okay so you continue repeating that all the way round okay so now after we are done with that for the next six rows which is from row five until row ten we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 24 stitches in each row okay so for the next six rows please do single crochet in each row all the way around and then i'll see you when you're done with the 10th row so that we start the 11th row together 
okay so guys after the 10th row this is how our head looks like as you can see so now we're going to start with the 11th row and from the 11th row we're going to start decreasing okay so uh, we're going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat six times for a total of 24 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one two three and then decrease and then we're going to keep repeating that so three single crochets one two three and decrease Okay, repeat that again, three single crochets, and decrease. Okay, so we're going to keep repeating that all the way round. Okay, so now in our 12th row, uh, we're going to do two single crochet, then decrease, and repeat all the way round for a total of 18 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one two and then we're going to decrease okay and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochets And then decrease okay so we'll keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so guys before we continue to the 13th row uh, make sure you stuff your head because we are almost finished okay so now for the 13th row uh, we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet and then decrease and we'll keep repeating that single crochet and decrease single crochet and decrease okay so continue like that all the way to the end okay so now after that uh, in our 14th row which is our last row we're going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches but before we continue make sure you stuff uh, your head fully and then we're going to continue we are going to finish up okay so now we are going to decrease okay and then we're going to continue increasing decreasing all the way around okay so decrease Okay, so after that, I'm just going to cut off my yarn. Okay, and finish up. So to finish up, I'll make sure to close this gap. So I'll go into the next uh, stitch and continue pulling my yarn through until the gap is closed. And then after that, I'll just go to any point in my head and pull the yarn through. OK, 
okay and then cut it off okay so that's how our little head is gonna look like okay so now we're going to start making the part and the stem okay so now we're going to start making the part and the stem together and we're going to start with this brown yarn so we're going to start first with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring so do one two three four five and six okay then I'll put my marker over here okay so now in our second row we are going to increase each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so I'll just go into the next stitch and increase Okay, and then I'll continue increasing in every stitch. Okay, increase. okay so continue increasing in every stitch around okay so now in our third row uh, we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches okay so we do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch Okay, and then we'll keep repeating that single crochet and increase okay you continue like that all the way to the end okay so now in our fourth row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches Okay, so we do single crochet one, single crochet two, and increase in the next stitch. And we'll keep repeating that. So two single crochet and increase. Okay. So repeat like that all the way to the end okay so now after we're done with that now for the next five rows which is from row five until row nine we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 24 stitches in each row okay so i'll see you when you're done in the ninth row so that we start the tenth row together okay so after the ninth row this is how our little pot looks like Okay, so now to start the 10th row, you're going to change into the green yarn, which I already did because you're now going to start making the stem uh, moving upwards. Okay, so now for the 10th row, uh, we're going to start by doing two single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, but in this row, we're going to do in the back loops only. So you know when you're doing uh, single crochets, you have the front loop and the back loop. Okay, so you're just going to work in the back loops only. Okay, so I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're going to go into the next stitch, the back loop only, and do single crochet. Okay, go in the next stitch also in the back loop and do another single crochet. And then we're going to decrease one time okay like that only in the back loop okay and we're going to continue like that so two single crochet and decrease
okay and continue in all the other stitches two single crochets and decrease Okay, so you're going to repeat like that all the way to the end okay so after that now in our 11th row uh, we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to do a single crochet and then decrease and we're going to repeat like that all the way around single crochet decrease okay and then single crochet decrease okay so continue like that all the way round okay so make sure you start stuffing your part as we continue okay so now in our 12th row we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat three times for a total of nine stitches okay so we're going to go into the next stitch and do single crochet one and single crochet two and then decrease and we're going to continue like that so two single crochets and decrease okay and again the last time two single crochets and decrease okay so now after we're done with that now for the next eight rows which is from row 13 until row 20 we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of nine stitches in each row okay so please for the next uh eight rows until row 20 do single crochets all the way around and then uh, i'll show you how to finish off okay so guys after row 20 this is how our little part looks like okay so when you get here to the end uh you're just going to cut off the yarn okay so i'm just going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch okay and then i'm going to cut off my yarn long enough for sewing like that okay and as you can see i have a little stick over here so this one is a toothpick that i cut on both ends so i'm just going to stick it over here uh, so that uh, the stem is firm enough Okay, so that's how it's gonna look like okay so now after that we're going to start making the petals okay so the petals are quite easy so I'm going to use this uh, dark yellow yarn so what you do is you start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring so we do one two three four five and six okay and then after that in my second row uh, I'm going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around three times for a total of nine stitches okay so I'll do single crochet And then increase in the next stitch ok 
okay and then we'll continue and do single crochet then increase And then one more time, single crochet and increase. Okay, and then I'm going to pull my yarn close the gap like that okay and then so now from here for the next four rows which is from row three until row six we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of nine stitches in each row okay so the ninth row is the last row of the pedal so you'll have something that looks like this as you can see Okay, so when you get to the ninth row, just cut off your yarn and then you're going to make eight of them like this. Okay, so and then after that, I'm going to show you how to make the leaf. Okay, so now we're going to start making the leaf and uh, we are going to use the green yarn. So you're going to start first with a chain six, which I already did. And then after you do a chain six, we're going to start uh, from the second chain from the hook. Okay, so we're going to start with a single crochet. Okay, and then we're going to do double uh, double crochet in the next two uh, two chains. Okay, so we're going to do double crochet. And double crochet also in the next chain. Okay, and then in the next chain uh, we're going to do single crochet okay and in the last chain of the row we're going to do single crochet Okay, and then add chain two, so chain one and two. Okay, and then we are going to slip stitch in the second uh, chain from where we did a chain two. We're going to do a slip stitch. Okay, so slip stitch. And then after that we are going to do in the same chain we are going to do a single crochet okay so now we're going to continue to the other side and on the other side you're going to start by doing a single crochet okay and then we're going to do double crochet in the next two chains so double crochet and another double crochet in the next chain okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next chain and then after that we are going to do a chain four so we're going to count chain one two three and four Okay, and then uh, from here where we did a chain four from the second chain uh, in the second chain from the hook we are going to do a slip stitch like that and we're going to slip stitch until we get at the end okay so slip stitch Okay, and now here uh, at the last chain of the leaf, we are also going to slip stitch. 
okay and this is gonna be our little leaf as you can see okay so after that i'm just going to do a chain one and i'm going to cut off my yarn long enough for sewing okay so now after we're done with that uh we're going to work uh here at the at the top of the pot and i'm going to show you how to do it I'm going to make a knot over here uh, using your yarn and then you're going to pull it through one of those stitches so remember this is the part where we did in the back loops only that's why we have some loops protruding over here okay and then after we do that we're going to continue and do double crochet in every stitch all the way around okay so I'm going to continue and go in the next stitch and do a double crochet Okay, so make sure it's loose enough okay and also in the net you're going to continue like that all the way through and continue doing a double crochet Okay, so you're going to continue like that all the way around until you get here where we started okay, so after we get here at the end we're going to continue here in the last stitch and do double crochet okay and then and go to the top of our first double crochet and we're going to slip stitch like that okay after we slip stitch I'm going to do a chain one and then I'm going to cut off my yarn okay and then after that you're going to do the finishing so you can pull this yarn all the way through like that okay you're going to continue until it's uh, done Okay, so this is how our little pot is gonna look like as you can see okay so now we're going to join all the parts together okay guys so as you can see I've already finished attaching all the parts together so it's quite easy so what you do is first you attach the body to the stem like that and then uh, after that you attach all the leaves together in round all the way round and then the little leaf you attach it just above the stem over here okay so just like this okay so as you can see it turned out so cute so you can put the little eyes in the mouth if you want to but for me I'm going to leave it like that okay and uh, you can attach your keychain over here at the top of the of the leaf or anywhere that you want okay so I hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and also check out my other videos and please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and until next time bye